And we're on. Just How are you girls? Good. Good. Hola. Beth, Kim, <laughs> Jess. Hello. Hey, um, I feel a bit intimidated. Why? I don't know, just... It's because you're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's at least your problems. Hey, <laughs> hey thanks for doing this. It's alright. So, um, how was the workout this morning? Shit. Mm. Shit. Shit. What, um, hey, can you put it a little bit closer to you if you can? Kim's got a sore back from carrying me during that workout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just wanted a rest. <laughs> yeah. No. What, um, so this morning it was 21 double unders, 15 mm. kettlebell, kettlebell swings, swings, 9 burpees. That yeah. wasn't too bad. Yeah. And then it was 3 minutes rest and then we had went into 30 push-ups, 30 air squats, 30 dumbbell snatches. Yeah. Yep. 3 minutes rest. Mm -hmm. yep. then and then it was the killer. Count, <laughs> 60, 60 goblet squats yeah. and yeah. 60 burpees. Yeah. That we got. We'd, so two. We, we didn't <laughs> finish it. <laughs> we were two off burp. finishing. No. Two no. burpees off finishing. Yeah. But Pat scaled everything. That's good. That's good. Because yeah. he's hurt his foot. Of course he has. Come on, Pat. Did I not see the trailer out in the car park? Is he not going motorbike riding? Did you riding? see how he parked? Yeah, I did. <laughs> he tried. But he always like, how are you going to get the trailer over it now? <laughs> he always does that. He'll just drive, and then he'll just go, he'll just drive out straight, forward. <laughs> he does it all the time. Boy, yep. logic. Smart. Yeah. It's logic. <laughs> what, uh, what round did you find the hardest? The last, the last one. one. Yeah. Because yeah. of the cows, the goblet squats, or the burpees? Oh, burpees uh, suck any day of the week, so yeah. The I think it, it was just gassed. Yeah, so I like was, yeah. doing the the goblet squats, Pat and I were like had weight out ready, and then we're like, no nah, air squats. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, it was only hard because you were busted from the first bit, mm -hmm. so that the legs were shot. Mm -hmm. So it just made it shit ass after that. And then finishing on the burpees, I hate finishing. Just get them on over and done with. Thank you, John. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. feels like we're really getting back into it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, it's what? because what day was it? Thursday. Someone complained that there wasn't enough cows, and I just looked at the person and goes. Are you for real? <laughs> are you for real? She, Any cows are I think she cows. was super blessed, but she's like, oh, I keep missing out on cows. And I was like, girlfriend, you are not missing shit. <laughs> John likes to accommodate if you yeah. haven't done something in a while. So, Have you had a go at the Echo bike? No, no, but the boys next to us, and I asked them what the difference was, and they're like, it feels like you're on it for like 10 minutes before you get your first cow, <laughs> and then the second one comes quick. you got to earn yeah. every cow on it, wow. because it's belt-driven, not chain-driven, oh. so it, there's, it does it, you know, on the chain, it can still tick over, and... Mm, yeah, you get those extra... Yeah, that one but doesn't. you earn yeah. every cow. Yeah. But, so um, it stops straight away when yeah. you start, yeah. oh, yuck. Yeah. 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 I already hate the assault bike, why would yeah. I enjoy that? Have you guys been on it? No, I have used one once before. What did you think of it? Oh, it killed me. Yeah. I felt okay until I got off it and went to plant my feet and fell over. Because <laughs> they don't work anymore. Yeah, so <laughs> just, you don't you don't feel that bad until you go to get off and start walking, and then mm. you, your legs just go out from under you. Oh my god! Yeah, it's yeah. fine. No it's good, good That's times. Great. Hey, what what's a workout that you love? Like what's a if you could design your favorite workout? All barbells. All barbell? No cardio. <laughs> <laughs> no, like um, it's got to be so quick barbell, like yeah. barbell cardio. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love a yeah. So yeah. like even a barbell movement with burpees, like. No burpees. <laughs> <laughs> what did we just say? <laughs> a barbell movement with sit-ups. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just circuit. Like mm. like short reps that I'm happy. Yeah, I can just keep reps. going and going and going. Really. He's like a chipper. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I hate chippers. Because chippers usually have war walls in them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or a box jumps. Yeah. Or yeah. What about you, Jess? Yeah. Um, I love snatching, to be honest. That's my favorite thing. You've got thing. the shoulder strength for it. Yeah, sorry. You're just um, muscle snatch. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's all muscle snatch. What snatching. was this, like, the first... I think it was the first time I was snatching. Yeah. I was with Ben. Yeah. And I didn't realise you had to do a wide grip, so I was snatching with like a narrow grip. And Taylor's like, what are you doing? She's like doing a 30 kilo snatch, just holding it in the normal bar position, just straight above her head. And we're just like, well, how are you doing this? So Like, you I can like just that. go away. Oh, that's about it. Burpees suck. I just can't. I just don't have the hip movement for it, the hip flexibility. I can't get up quick enough. I'm like dead weight. I get to the ground. Just... Imagine having boobs the size of mine <laughs> and then try to get up. 
Airbags, you don't have to go down as far. <laughs> That's the great thing about boobs and push ups, but don't have to go all the way down. <laughs> just as long as you That is a huge it. advantage. <laughs> We're great yeah, for the just, combat. Just <laughs> soak soak yeah, that one up. Yeah. I don't have that problem. Do we have a time that the comp would be rescheduled for or not so yet? So we're looking at our birthday bash. Okay. So last Fine. week of September. Fine. Yeah. And then the throwdown, we're hoping to redo. So the throwdown is the one that got cancelled. Correct. Okay. So um, we'll see how the birthday bash goes. Mm -hmm. And we'll either run the throwdown close to Christmas mm -hmm. or February. Yeah, fun. Yeah. Oh, cool. So we're just waiting to hold off and see if there is any, you know, further outbreaks or mm. and if not if we have an outbreak yeah if, if we have an outbreak and um so we will probably make that decision in the next few weeks yeah we've yeah. sort of got back into the classes mm -hmm. and so yeah but that's that last week of september mm. Mm, cool. i look at it hey do you guys remember the first time you just walked in here mm -hmm. where yeah. you felt mm -hmm. oh, yeah. shit scared i walked into the comp that Boyd and MJ were doing together. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's the first time I came in here to watch Boyd. What did you think? I always thought, because he'd been hassling me for a while yeah. to come, come, come. And I was finally at a place where I'd lost a little bit of weight. So I was feeling a bit more like, oh, I could do this. And then I used to do like boot camps and stuff yeah. before, like ages ago. And then I walked in and then I was like, oh, they're all movements that I know. Yeah. They're all movements that I can do. Cause like boy was doing ring rows and stuff. Cause I was really intimidated by push, like pull ups. And I was like, I can't do that. And I'm like, oh, I can do ring rows. Yeah. And then I was just like, and then I saw Katie and a few <clears throat> other people that I knew. And so I was in the next Wednesday and joined. Beautiful. <laughs> and I made Boyd introduce me to you because yeah. you were doing it i'm like tell the introduce me because i'm too scared i'm not going up to anyone <laughs> and now it's like what was i worried about yeah, <laughs> isn't it funny when you do when you're going into something for the first time and you're so nervous yeah. and then you get a, a couple of months in and you're just, <laughs> what the hell was i thinking yeah. do you remember your i do i just moved here because yeah, um, you, you probably mm, didn't know anyone i knew no one absolutely I knew. So you've been the bravest. I knew. Mm -hmm. I knew Harry. Um, Harry Stever. Yeah. How did you know Harry? Because he's a, he's Jamie's <gasps> brother's mate. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so there's no, there's no dinosaurs in the room, but we have <laughs> little Archie. Little French oh, sorry. bulldog. With a little um, Frenchy bulldog. Uh, he can't breathe properly. Yeah, actually, is he okay? No, yeah. Okay. He does have a you know, Is he time. asleep or is he no. okay? Oh, he's awake. He's right. Um. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Can you just show us what, what he's got when he wakes up? Oh morning? yeah, he's got um some more bacon. He's already eaten half of it. Perfect. <laughs> because I was like, oh, I'll bring him today and then we'll have bacon afterwards. And then I think we got here for like two minutes yeah. and he did the biggest wee on the floor downstairs. <laughs> so it, it was the hose, it just didn't stop. Yeah. He gives me so much anxiety when we take him out because like, he just pees very willingly. He poos very willingly. He's just like. It sounds like he's a, just a crossfitter. Oh yeah. yeah, he saves it for when you're going out. The worst he's like, oh, she's going to take me yeah. out today. Better save that. Yeah. The worst part is like he doesn't eat dog food. Like, so I'm Maltese and my partner's Maltese. So his mother feeds him like Tim Tams oh. and toast and like pasta and just shit he shouldn't be eating and every time i come over i'm like oh my god i look at his bowl and there's like shepherd's pie <laughs> tim tam That's yeah. So, yeah so i found that out yesterday our, and i was like really our dog eats chocolate too my yeah. we we didn't feed him chocolate he was my grandma's dog before he became our dog she used to feed him like cat um cadbury old gold and like he's a chocolate fiend <laughs> like he'll smell it from a mile away <laughs> But um, <laughs> apparently it's a certain amount yeah, of coca okay. per kilo they can have. Right. So, yeah, so he gets some chocolate. He's got his own now dog chocolate, choc drops, and he froths them hard. Yeah, but like, he's <laughs> just all <laughs> over When's the last we saw a French bulldog weigh, like, 15 kilos? Like, mm. he's got bigger shoulder muscles than I do. How much does he weigh? <laughs> I reckon about 15. Mm. But... Anyway, we're on Kim's story of journey. <laughs> we get yeah, so sidetracked. So we, 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 we got to Harry. It's going to be a podcast of just tangents. Yeah, because he's going to do it like 400 times. So you knew Harry? 
I did. Um, yeah, through Jamie's family. Um, but because he told me that he w he was going to a gym, to a CrossFit gym, but I didn't realise it was this one. So I came here and was doing 9.30 classes while I wasn't working. And then he randomly showed up one day. I was like, ah, oh, this, is, this the is the one you were talking about. I was this like, oh, it. sweet. <laughs> so I knew one person. No, hmm. two. Sorry, I did know two people. So, But you started without knowing him because you didn't know he was coming here. Yes, yes. Mm, very yep. brave. Yeah. Mm. So I walked into a 9.30 a.m. class and met a few people, fell in love with that class. That's I probably a good class it. to start with. Yeah, yeah. it was. I used yeah. To like that. yeah. I could lay on the ground afterwards without having to worry about anyone needing my space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about you, Jess? Um, my first time here was actually for the birthday bash where Beth and Tegan were competing together. And Beth had been harping on for months about how I was like, you should join, you should join. And then after that, I was like, yeah, let's go. When I came, well, you wanted to change. I did want to change. Boxing. Yeah. I was at a female boxing gym and it just wasn't enough. Yeah. So that's the thing about female stuff. It's like, here's your exercise, but you're only doing this much. So hmm. yeah, I came here with Beth and it was the best thing ever. And then I met you first day and I was just like, in love. And John's honestly the best coach. He was so... Everything's okay, we can oh, do this. Yeah, sorry, the dog's on the table. <laughs> Did you just say I'm, licking me? I'm glad that you are just... <laughs> you clarified that just then. <laughs> I can't... Look, oh. a part of me is just like, why did I bring him? Because I can't even get him to sit in the bed. No, he's fine. I'm so glad I, there's video. Because I was, I was, if, if there was just <laughs> audio... And you just go, something's licking me. I, 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 did, I did feel the same. I'm just going to ping in here yes. and then Tom's yes. going to talk to me again. Oh, that's great. Or Adam. This is Adam's room, isn't it? Adam yeah. will oh, talk to you again. Yeah. Yeah. Mark your territory, Archie. <laughs> Don't, Give encourage it. <laughs> Don't encourage you. Don't encourage you. How about 2020? <laughs> what a so go what a back joke. to go back to January, mm -hmm. where we all thinking, yeah, this is going to be my year, a new decade. Very excited for 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, same. Good things to come. I try not to think new year, new me. Like I feel like you can start anytime. Correct. Because that's such a put off mindset, mm. which I'm working with Shay very hard towards. That yes. you don't have to start your diet on Monday. Exactly. Every meal is a new opportunity. <laughs> Mondays are like great. The <laughs> Mondays are the worst day to start it on anyway. Yeah, because yeah. you don't want to be in it. Because you hate Mondays. It's just Monday. Yeah. But right. then, and when you put things off to Monday and it's Thursday, mm -hmm. don't you just cut sick for Friday, yeah. Saturday, <laughs> Sunday? Yeah, exactly. Or we get it to Monday afternoon, you'd be like, oh, I've ruined this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe next Monday. Exactly. Yep. I've got seven days of cheat meals. Yeah. Like, cheat meals also, not a good <laughs> That's not a good mindset. Psychological, psychological <laughs> thing. You see Shay coming through me. <laughs> She's good, but Shay. She's so good. It's the best thing I've ever best done. Best nutritionist nutrition. I think I've ever dealt with. Yeah. She's just incredible. Mm. What yeah. um what do you get most out of it? Wish I uh, the confidence to not be worried about like no judgment. Yeah. So I can tell her anything and she'll just be like, Okay, like we accept that and then we try again. That's all you can do. Exactly. And she's so knowledgeable and explains it in a way that you can understand really easily. Mm. Yeah, I just really enjoy it. I mean we're on like 30 something weeks now, me yeah. and her, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. which has been really, really good. And I think she loves it. Mm. Like, and she She's so passionate. Genuinely cares. Yeah. Um, like when we, you know, you talk about what she wants to achieve with it and where she wants to go mm. with it. She's mm. very passionate about it. Mm. So, um, and that's what, you know, we have a new coach starting on mm, nice Wednesday that. afternoon so mm. she can keep developing her nutrition Fabulous. client base. So. Um, yeah, which will be good. That's so good. Um, so yeah. I'm glad that you get that from her. Yeah. So 2020, yeah. so we start off with bushfires. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beth's got some stats. Show the yeah, stats. Yeah. Uh, yes. Show your knowledge. Yeah. I was really nervous about the podcast, so I googled 2020 so far. Um, so the bushfires are in January. And so... You know what? They actually start in November. Yeah, yeah before yeah. it. Because yeah. I got it yeah. evacuated before Christmas. It, yeah, and well, COVID-19 started in December 19 that's why it's COVID yeah. 19. We'll get, we'll get to that after. Yeah. 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 Um, that so yeah. the bushfires which I only learnt from googling it there was 34 dead unfortunately directly from the fires and then what I didn't know is there was 417 people that died indirectly from the fires so from complications like smoke inhalation burns etc. Mm. 
Yeah, they don't Possibly. report that. No, yeah. which I didn't know that because that death toll is huge. That's massive. Yeah. So that was horrendous. Mm. Um, one billion animals lost. Mm. Mm. So a lot of species are now koalas were massively endangered infected, yeah. that weren't, or they need our intervention to now prosper. Do they know? Do you know how they come across that number? Yeah, one like how, billion. They, they estimated. Like, they count like ants. It said an right? estimated <laughs> one billion. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure there's not a one billion koalas. No. Did all yeah, kangaroos? It was pretty. Well, Forty-six million acres burnt. Okay. Oh, you know what? It was the huge one that started the one at Courage on the one in the national park. That would have yeah probably done heaps. And it was all real bushland. So yeah. Because it was. 10,000 buildings lost, 2,779 homes. Yeah, that's That's devastating. Yeah. So they were quite devastating. There's actually only last week some families were getting portable pods and homes set up on their property. Yeah. They've been in tents wow. since, since January. Wow. Jeez. So, like, it was only, it was, yeah, on the news last week. So Six imag- months later. Imagine six months of living in a tent. No. On the property, we're looking at your house. Yeah, yeah. no the, longer. Like, a reminder of the devastation the reminder every of it, day. Every day. Wow. Yeah. The phone's still recording, <laughs> and the video, <laughs> and the webcam, so it's still all going. We could just like I mash forgot. all this together. Yeah, no, let's not put this part Maybe in. We should do put Benny Hill music and go. Do 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 fast forward it. The only thing I can think of, the internet just dropped out, uh, yeah. which which affects this. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> we're all back there. I forgot it was still recording. <laughs> no, okay. it wasn't recording. Brief intermission no, no, about us like... talking about shaving our legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And take two. <laughs> yeah, and take two. So we just had a technical issue. And during that Occupy Our Time, we were talking about shaving well, legs. The and girls the... were just talking, yeah. as we do. Yeah. Self, I, self-grooming. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing to contribute to that <laughs> conversation. Very distracted. I learnt, I learnt a lot, though. <laughs> Not easy Apparently, it's not an easy process. No, it's not. It's time consuming. <laughs> and not just enjoy, and it's not enjoyable. No, no, no. no. Yeah. no. And apparently, if you don't believe it, you can come in and watch. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Within reason. Within reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her partner can come and watch yeah. <laughs> to prove yeah. how long well, she's showering for. Well, he thinks I'm just standing there under the water for half an hour. No, no. <laughs> That's doing serious this, business. Yeah, oh yeah, it's and it's half an hour is a short time. Yeah, exactly. It's a good day. Um, I think we were up to like let's go back twenty twenty mm-hmm, mm-hmm. bushfires. Mm-hmm. It started with bushfires last November, mm-hmm. but even before that, like there was the talk of the drought. Yeah, it'd um, been so it'd been bad. So bad. That's why they think it yeah spread so quickly because there was no moisture in the soil. Yeah, yeah. So really, it start to. 2019 mm. yep. drought, yep. and then well, for probably a couple of years, and mm. then bushfires in November, and then yep. probably the bushfires hit their peak in, in January. January. Yeah, yep. and you've got some prepared stats. Stats, for us. yes. Love it. So, they directly from the fires, there was 34 people that died, um, but then there was 417 people that died indirectly. So from like smoke inhalation and other complications, which is Huge. Just huge. That I didn't know about till yeah. I looked up 2020 the other night. That's massive, and they don't report that. No. no. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew the statistics of the 34. I didn't know exactly 34, but yeah. I knew it was up mm. there. Um, but 417, that's more than we've lost in COVID. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. It's horrendous. Wow. But it's almost like with everything <coughs> that's happened now, it's like we've forgotten about the bushfires. Yeah. 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 It seems years so ago. Long ago. Yes. Because yeah. so much has happened since then. Mm. What? So when we were feeling optimistic, even though for twenty twenty, mm-hmm. even though the bushfires were around. Yeah, yeah. Because we we've always had fire seasons, especially being out here. Nothing to that magnitude. Mm. But we've always dealt with fire. So I remember being like, yeah, we deal with fire all the time. Like obviously this was bad. And then a few years ago we had the one in Melbourne that was horrendous too. Yes. So I was like, oh, it's just unfortunately another thing like that. Mm. But then 
the years just kept rolling on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Into, talk about shit show, guys. <laughs> downward trajectory. So we had that quick spurt of floods. Mm, yep. That downpour and yeah. then, uh, the, and on the, the Sunday, and then we had floods where we were closed. Like, well, people bridge, couldn't get over. Yeah, yeah. Bridge under, was for the, the first yeah. time in however many years. I was stuck yeah. in yeah. Penrith, and it was just I was on Facebook after we came back from the shops, and I was like, oh, it looks like I'm not going home. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but before was, that, Kobe died. Kobe died in January. I think floods were February. Yeah. Yeah. So Kobe Bryant. Yeah. yeah. And his daughter. And his daughter Gigi, mm. which is so massive. So what you were saying before? So they've. I, I haven't. What, what was the cause of that crash? The helicopter um, crash. Not apparently, sure. there's, there's controversy as to yeah. whether he should have flied or not, or fog or something. I don't really know. They, yeah. re- they reckon he shouldn't have even. There was issues with it beforehand. Yeah, yeah. He shouldn't have even flown, but they think like that no one was really flying that du- day, afternoon, yeah. night, yeah. whatever it was. But yeah. it would have been. There was a, quite a few people on board. Mm. Like it would, it would have. That's up to the pilot. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if the people are really pushing someone of yeah. Kobe's you don't influence, yeah. you don't say no. So it's just very unfortunate. Hundred percent. That's probably been. The Simpsons predicted that though. Yeah, Are we Kobe sure, was or was it like an edit? No, 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 it was. Kobe, well, yeah, the Simpsons episode, I'm pretty sure he flew into a mountain, but he's still in a helicopter. Mm. He's pr- that, what? Is, there's not, I've that's, heard about that. Yeah. That's not the first time the Simpsons have done yeah, something. Simpsons, yeah, some of them have been edited. Some yeah. of them aren't real. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Simpsons trippy. <laughs> have you seen the one with Donald Trump? The escalator? The, the, I think I have, yes. The escalator picture, where mm. there's... The Simpsons, and they had um, like a, a presidential figure, and, they were, and he was going down an escalator, mm. and all the all the fans are like cheering, mm. and there's the exact same picture with Donald Trump. That's so weird. What's, oh. what's his wife's name? Melania. 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 Oh, going that, down, right? and there's people like it's. Yeah. We'll Google weird. it later. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. weird. Mm. Very weird. So what? At, then, <clears throat> at what point did you think, yes, COVID's real? And this could really affect us. When I got my first memo at work. When what, football stopped. Can you say what it, what it was about? <laughs> um, so I work in pathology. Um, so we are doing COVID testing, a lot of COVID testing. Um, so the first memo we got was, this is going around if someone comes to you with a form in your normal collection centre, you must direct them to go to the hospital. And that's when we all thought, okay, this is pretty serious. It's not just a test. This was right at the start, a test that we can collect for. Because the same thing happened when Ebola outbreak happened. Mm -hmm. They told us we're not to collect them. They must be sent to the hospital. Um, But then as time's gone on and it's lasted a bit longer, they're like, we can capitalise on this. (laughs) Yeah. Also, they market it as we're helping the government system by taking some of that burden off them, but they're also going to give us some funding to do it. Of course. <laughs> it's all about the funding. Yeah. So that was my first, okay, this is serious. A patient that comes in shouldn't be touched, shouldn't be done. Was this in February or March? If you can remember. Mm. February, because it was before the first death. Yeah. which was the 1st of March. <clears throat> and so did you did you come across people that started to test positive? And how like how did it play out? Like did it get more and more serious for you? So it started as like this has come out and then the lab's just gone into defense mode and gone we're not testing. So then they've gone which they do to protect themselves. Um so then we were having sort of no positive cases coming in through the doors. People were calling up constantly, and they still are, asking, can I come in and get COVID tested? We're like, no, you have to go to the hospital. No, you have to. Then it became, we have dedicated centers to do it. They were they were umming and ahhing as to whether the, the collection center would be open, then we'd have close it and then have COVID testing, but then they just start, decided to keep all the COVID in the one spot. So we had Seven Hills, and then we've just opened drive through clinics in Richmond and St Mary's, Bella Vista. Um, so then that happened, and then our job really just went back to normal, mm. other than just directing people where to go for their testing. Like, it, nothing really changed yeah. for us. 
We haven't had, luckily, anyone come to us that's been suspected. In the medical centre I used to work at, they've had multiple positive cases, so they've yep. been in through the doors. Yeah. But I'm lucky I'm in a standalone clinic where we're not in with doctors. Mm. We're just ourselves. Um, so I haven't interacted with anyone that I know of mm. that's had it, um, but lots of positive cases around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because there was a there was some hot spots around Penrith. Mm. And, um, I think they were hot spots because the hub of testing is there. Yes. So we have lots of confirmed cases because the hospital is doing all the testing. Yeah. Um, but also New March House. Yes. <laughs> He's in Penrith. We yeah. had a lot to do with them. Yeah, so I think there was 16 or 17 deaths there. Yeah. Mm. The poor nurse that brought it in. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Feels so bad. Isn't it amazing how one person, mm. and it can spread mm. so quickly. Like it's just that contagious. one person. It's very interesting how it does spread though because we treat everything at, at work as infectious anyway. So it's transmitted very much the same way as like influenza and other viruses that we've dealt with for years so it's sort of like how did this spread so quick like why why where was your hand hygiene where what where was the lapse in the chain that mm. allowed it to spread so quickly yeah yeah and what the debacle of what's happening now in melbourne mm. with this like these um outbreaks mm -hmm. like security guards were mm. intimate we return travelers oh yeah, oh, yeah. No and way. A lot, some of them were allowed to go out shopping and come back in did oh, you hear about that no. that's right that's bad so and that's why the victorian government now are, are under fire because they so new south wales have had police mm -hmm. manning the hotels mm -hmm. whereas victoria um hired security firms mm. yeah contractors <laughs> And so huh. things got a little bit lax and yeah, well, the media reporting that the, that's come out that there was some security guards that were intimate with <laughs> we, we had whether they were just uh, passion on or whether there was, uh, um, <laughs> there's, <laughs> then the security guards have passed it on to family Others, members yeah. and uh, so on. It's just so. going on. We had um, a very interesting, the, there was that wedding that had the big outbreak Yes. and we were trying to work out how so many people got it and so we were talking about it at work and etc etc and we're like so surely there wasn't that many hookups surely people weren't sharing drinks that much they were all doing drugs ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that old chestnut. so that's how it spread so quickly sharing drug paraphernalia <laughs> yeah. so um cool it's very interesting there yeah that's um that's a no Not brain, all of it? them, but some of them. Clearly, of course clearly no brain. Like hmm. It's actually so prevalent. Mm. How dumb are some people, but oh, stupid. Extremely really oh, stupid. Yeah. That annoys I me. I used to think, like, I wasn't good enough. I'm, like, all through school worried about, like, not being smart. And then doing a job that deals with the public uh. makes me feel very good about myself <laughs> and very good about where I sit in the human gene pool. Like, I feel like we're pretty above average here and the average is a lot lower than I ever thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It's, people are just... Try working in the cops. Wow. Yeah, I'd hate to be a cop, to be honest. I wow. It's going to be the like up there. 1% of society. Yeah. Wow. I couldn't. Crazy. I just get too angry and frustrated. Yeah. I think you pull the taser out every two minutes. <laughs> to be real. You're just walking out. Right. Walking around with it just loaded. Ready. Just, just stop talking. Just, yeah. just yeah. you breathe out. Yeah. Excuse me, I need help. You, you. <laughs> Don't need help anymore. Have a nap. You were, you were saying? <laughs> oh, you don't need help? Excellent. <laughs> what, what do you do for a living, Jess? Um, I work as the digital content producer for Football New South Wales. So mm -hmm. I deal with website maintenance and building websites and creating the content and looking after our league and PR for the business. So obviously COVID came and killed sport, which was like sweet. Well, you had nothing to market. Yeah. <laughs> funny thing was I still had a shit ton of work to do that didn't need people to be playing football to do it mm. but yeah unfortunately no football playing no people coming in 
Oh, football, soccer, by the way. Soccer, football, same thing. But like, obviously, no one's playing football, so there's no money coming in, so there's no way to have staff. So I was stood down, which I thought was the most devastating thing in the world, which was like, I think I was stood down for about six weeks. So I've just come back now, and now I'm just kind of like chasing my tail, because we mm. start back. Community football starts this weekend, and then our league starts at the end of the month, and it's just like, how do we do everything on a reduced budget? Mm. Mm. So it's pretty crazy, but I'm happy to be back. Happy to have a job. Yeah. Did you do any um, social media during that time that you're off at all? Uh, not for the business. Yeah. I did stuff like personally, like obviously I've got a little side project, but I actually, it was, I kind of took it really personally as a stand down. Cause I was like, it makes me feel like I wasn't good enough for the, like they kept a few people on, like obviously executive managers. So I was kind of like, oh, like obviously don't value me. Like I work so hard and but then you have to be like realistic like we're all going through the same thing we're all being stood down there's no money coming in so covid was really fun and then mm. it just really made me question why i chose to work in sport <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i was just like should i just done something else like yeah and i've only ever worked in sports so part of me is just like i think we need to start moving away from sport but i actually had a covid test done last week because I caught the flu, mm. my parents are hypochondriacs. <laughs> but they're testing anyone that's got any sickness symptoms yeah. at the moment, which yeah. is fabulous for Australia because America's just like, yeah. the less we test, mess. the less positives we get. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's not good for stats. Yeah. That's not really how Trump sees it. Yeah. He, well, he, Trump he, just Trump he, he was like, normally at all. He, I think it was I, start of the month. He was like, wild. we're going to be open by Easter. Like, America's going to be fine by Easter. It's like, yeah. hi, we're in July and you still got issues. Mm. Yeah. He kept, no, because he's going on with shit saying how, oh, yeah, they've got the highest testing rate, but that's like, that's a positive thing. Because, yeah. you know, they've got sorry, the, the, high, the highest cases, sorry, but it's, it's good because everyone's testing. And I'm like, that's not how, kind of how it works. But it's their percentage of positive to test done is not as good as ours. Like, and we've done two and a half million tests mm. and we've only had 8,000 confirmed cases. So it's like 0.3% mm. of tests conducted have come back positive. But America's yeah. losing like is. thousands of people yeah. daily. It's because yeah. it's their right to go outside and yeah. not wear a mask. Give it to me. <laughs> 50,000 cases a day. Wow. Even Brazil's up there too at the moment. Yeah. Brazil's up there. Yeah. It's like, when are they going to learn? We're so lucky that I know, like we, we jumped on actions it. when we did. We got to learn from other countries. Yeah, for sure. Far out. Yeah, it, it's been hard. A bit of a debacle with that cruise ship, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, I just hope that they do learn the lessons from what's mm. come out of this, because there will be another. It's not a conspiracy. And... It's a thing. no. <laughs> People Fi- are dying. It's not five G. No. <laughs> <laughs> But I think the thing that I've said to a few people, like, COVID is our war. Like, it's our generation's war. Like, we mm. never went through what our, not even our parents, our mm. parents' parents. So this is kind of like us. The stats are similar to yeah. what was happening in the Depression. Yeah. Mm. With job loss and stuff. Yeah, it's our generation's version. As bad yeah. as it sounds, it's population control and things like that. Like, coronavirus has been around for mm. years. Yeah, apparently, And yeah. we're very lucky that our lab had the the testing and know how to do it. We'd already had all that set up because we've been testing for it for years, 10 years or something, but it's never been a pandemic. Because usually even the flu isn't a pandemic. It, as in like you get like Brisbane's strain of flu will be different to New South Wales strain of flu, which will be different to Melbourne's. And when you go overseas, it's different. So that's sometimes where you get sicker than mm. you would at home. Um, but this is the first thing in a very long time that's, Worldwide, yeah. So that's why it's so was big. Was swine flu like the last thing that was worldwide? Ebola. Ebola. Swine flu was like two thousand and four. And we have bird flu, avian yeah. flu, equine yeah. flu. Yeah. Yeah. All the flus. Yeah. <laughs> but it just yeah. it spreads so quickly and then just kills. It just shows us so how gross people are. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sharing drugs. <laughs> just wash your hands. Yeah. Just wash your hands. I don't think I've ever I wash my, my hands, hands twice a patient, every patient. Wash your hands, then take your drugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your own straws. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own bills, dollar bills or <laughs> notes. <laughs> has a, has work been affected for you? Yeah. Um, uh, for most of us, um, we were starting to work from home very early on. That was, it was going to be a thing. And then it just got dragged forward. 
massively. Um, some people still going into the work office. Um, got to have like a desk in between everyone that's empty for space and stuff. Um, but I've been working at home every day for like four months. How have you found that? Uh, not too bad. Um, I can concentrate a lot more without having you know 50 odd people around me talking mm -hmm. to me and distracting me. Mm. Yeah. I'm not getting fatter because no one's baking. <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is fantastic. <laughs> Um, Children snacks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those office environments are uh, bandits for oh, it's bad. morning teas yeah. and afternoon teas. And, and, yeah. and cake every there's day. There's a celebration yeah. every day. Do you make up well, it depends how many people we have. How many birthdays do you have a yeah. year? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We have 60 people in our office. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than that's a cake a week. Birthday oh, yeah, that's 60 birthdays. Oh, yeah. That's hectic. That's why I'm just kind of like, I love you, but I don't want your cake. Yeah. So yes. it's, yeah. I'll sing to you and I'm going back to my birthday. Birthdays, yeah. anniversaries, you've been there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What else do we do? Oh, we do Easter at work and yeah. Christmas. Yeah. We do Melbourne Cup. Yeah. Like, Frangos knows us by name. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're very multicultural in our building. Oh, yeah. So we do, they, they do like a, if you've got, a culture that has some kind of a celebration mm. at some point. They involve the whole building. <laughs> so like there was a day where it was Sorry one sec. Has it stopped again? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Craig, you're gonna record over what we just recorded. <laughs> it's gonna be the internet. internet. If you just maybe press play it might pick up. Yeah, I'll just hit So I'll just continue it going from because yeah. But I don't want to keep talking. Yeah, so they're right. <coughs> trying to uh, re say what you're saying again. And it's like, but everyone's heard this for the second time. So, like, no one's reacting. You feel like an idiot repeating yourself. <laughs> so sorry, hey. That's it's okay. Up. But what I, I can take it off the others. And that's why I have the others going mm. like that and this because it's. We're only really talking shit anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's so. We're just having a conversation that we would anyway downstairs. Yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah. recorded. Record it. <laughs> yeah. It's just a uh, flat line. So what I'll do is I'll export that. Let's see, do you want to, uh, no, I can hot, like, I've only got one bar here. Yeah, I've only got the bar. Yeah, it's the gym black hole. <laughs> Sucks all the reception out. But as soon as you walk out the front. Bing, bing. Bing, no problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. You just wake yourself up. Yeah. Oh, there are the posters that you're gonna put up. Yeah. Oh. So. I was like, what's Pat left everywhere? Like. <laughs> <laughs> or Adam. Three. You can tell that John's doing this workout because the music volume just went up. Yeah, it's yeah, skyrocketed. They just started working out. <laughs> it just went nuts. And it's it? he's in a very Eminem theme today for some yeah. reason. Mm. I was like, come on, John, pump my music. And he's just like, Eminem. And I was like, no. I need the bass. It's got to be like. A bit of rock music would be nice. A bit of metal would have been good to start the morning. 6 a.m. I know. I can't. Slip <laughs> not. <laughs> not that that's, metal. That's, no. Not that's that's a, bit a bit much for 6 a.m. Someone. Uh, never we're going much. Okay. Kimmy, <laughs> you're, you're talking about your celebration. I was. Yes. Yes. Um, yes, we had a. Whenever we do parties, it's not like you have your, your typical, you just go down to the bakery and get normal food type thing. You have every culture mm. of food. Mm -hmm. it's, it's insane. It's so good. Mm. But we all, um, we had one of the women bring in about 40 or 50 um, saris. Wow. Oh. From, from her own collection. Oh, that's her own collection. Oh, I know. I have photos. That is so yeah. fun. So we all dressed up. It was like a total waste of a day. Yeah. So like we all came in. Getting and, paid to play yeah. dress ups. Yeah. <laughs> Love so that. So she'd pull us away kind of like 15 minutes each and then we'd all go into the bathroom and she'd wrap us all up. So we're walking around this big massive office building uh -huh. and, the, and the town all day in saris. Oh, and it was, cool. the food was insane. Yeah. It was just everywhere. So yeah. Which is not all fatting, so that's kind of good. But yeah. <laughs> the girl who sits next to me, she just bakes. How many in your office? Probably about twenty. Okay. I think not too many in hours. My I'll old. I'll be in the building. In the yeah, my old office we had about one hundred and twenty. Wow. Wow. I think so. So they were. That's split. a lot of people to yeah. learn their names. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You yeah. learn. You learn whatever team you're in, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <Buddy>. yeah <man. laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. When I, you? <laughs> when, I, when I started in that area, there was about 30 or 40 of us. 
Wow. And then in like within two years, it went up to 120. Wow. Yeah. So we started Good like business. you do like you you make something for like a morning tea, mm-hmm. and then by the end of it, you were like. I make something for my my team of like twelve, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, yeah you know you why? Don't, you don't, you don't, yeah. No, <laughs> you, you, you don't no. share it because it's, it's I've noticed at work if there's like we have a meet meeting the night before and there's like a leftovers, the amount of it really gets to me and I don't know why. <laughs> But like the amount of people, like they're like, oh, there's leftover food in the kitchen. That like sprint to the kitchen, like they've never <laughs> seen food before. That shits me so wow. fierce. Depends yeah. what it is though. Like in what? Maltese culture, we call that like hunzira. Hunzira. Like, hunzira. So that's like um, pig. <laughs> so like, and we're like, oh, what's such hunzira? Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's just a Maltese thing. Like, we're told, like, when you go to someone's house, you don't ask for food, you don't ask for drink, you don't ask for anything. And then, like, you're watching, like, all these people, like, run to the kitchen for, like, a piece. People are very opportunistic. Oh. I think so. I think so. But I just, I hate it. I take it depending on what it is. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, like, it's not. I don't, There's a donut there. I'll help yeah. myself. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. that's literally the thing that was in my head. If it's yeah. donuts, I'm it's <laughs> never for donuts. It. It's like leftover food from like the board dinners that look like to me just like nah. The people that uh, cut the donuts in half. I only want half a donut, and oh, I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna just yeah. two halves. I'll have your half and two halves. Half. I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, if you cut it in half, I'll have half of that flavor and half of that flavor. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> best of both worlds. Exactly. There. But don't push your diet onto me. <laughs> <laughs> I love a vanilla slice. Ooh. Oh yeah, mm. they're nice. I don't yeah. think I've ever tried it. What? It's a really vanilla slice. I'm yeah. not. I don't like vanilla that much, but I, I don't think I've ever it's tried it. It's not even about the vanilla. It's about the cream custard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. I've ever tried it. I like cream custard, so it's I'm amazing. Try one. Yeah. Really hard yeah. to eat though, so don't eat it if you like caramel to... slice. No, so it's caramel like caramel slice is good. That is what it's I like. It's like pastry on the bottom, and then like a massive chunk of cream custard yeah. pastry, cream custard pastry. It's amazing. It's so mm. good. It's about a thousand calories, I reckon. <laughs> And everything's worth it's it. It's totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. Do you have a favourite restaurant? Oh, oh this is where we all say Thai Buffalo sponsored. Oh. <laughs> no, because you know what? I've, I've, yeah, I've told Craig, I yeah. went to Thai Buffalo during COVID. I was, I just wanted Thai so bad. Yeah. I was like, gonna get it. Went there and it was not as good as it was. We had it for the first time as a family, like weeks ago, but it was during COVID. Um, so we... We picked up and we all really enjoyed it. We liked it a lot. Mm. Mm. That's good. Because I enjoyed Thai Buffalo before COVID. Oh, so you like, okay. And then but, during COVID, I, was, yeah. I told Craig was the first person I told. I was like, I'm disappointed, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so we've had, we had positives, positive, positive, positive. And then I started to hear Mixed negative, things. negative, uh, not so good. Yeah. And then now you're back to well, it was had a, a positive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe we just don't have the developed taste buds of everyone else we just like the shit <laughs> <laughs> we no, thought it was so, alright <laughs> so no you don't have to say Thai Buffalo no. I'll tell you what but um, I had lunch at I know Black Kim's Duck favorite. Bridge <laughs> yesterday yeah, yeah. I had which like, one? London Derby Pizza oh god yeah <laughs> that is a good one what that's, did you have? Black, Black, Black Duck, Duck Richmond we had yesterday breakfast they had the morning. protein bowl oh Where is my that? god it's it next Windsor to the R- R- next to the RMA in Richmond just down from Coles. Near Husqvarna. Opposite No Limits Gym. Ah, oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Yeah, next to the NRMA. Mm, okay, yeah. And just before Coles. Opposite where Embers was, but what is yes. it now? The Food, food Coma, coma which yeah. is... Yes, yeah. opposite there. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm with you now. Mate, protein bowl, 18 bucks. <gasps> I put a picture up on my Instagram yeah. story yesterday. It was delicious. Ah, oh, worth mm. every oh, dollar. <laughs> I yeah. I was like $18 for a protein bowl. Uh, it was nice. One protein bowl? Oh, no, protein bowl. 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 I was yeah. like... <laughs> Jesus. I was like, why did you pay that? $18 <laughs> for a protein bowl. <laughs> Jesus. I was like, um, that's... Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, good on your son. I was wondering... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I thought that's Wish like, we all had money like that. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty big reaction to what. To that. I was like, that's not actually that it's bad. I yeah. thought it was a protein oh, ball. Yeah, yeah, here I was thinking, yeah, it's a pretty good price. Like, yeah. you know, and you're going, what is the pain in that? I mean, oh, it's like second, a singular protein. I was really second guessing myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a look at and my Grace life choices. Trying to, <laughs> trying to get this business a good rap. <laughs> <laughs> We had breakfast there this morning, Kim and I, yeah, we really yeah. enjoyed it. That oh, was, um, what was that called? We had a acai bowl. Acai bowl. Acai. Yeah. 
Oh, it's so <laughs> good. That was good. That looked good. Oh, yeah. good. A thousand so good. calories in that one. Yeah, about a thousand calories yeah. in it, so I won't eat for the rest of the day. It's actually... <laughs> that is not... The shame will come after you. <laughs> I'll, no, eat, I'll, okay. I'll eat again, definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry already. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favourite restaurant? Um, I love Frango's. Mm. I love Frango's. Or even um, in Penrith, there's a Lebanese restaurant called Alasil. Yes. Mm. Love Alasil. Mm. Have you been on Saturday night where they, the belly dancers come out? Yeah, we go there quite frequently. Actually, we're going there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you going tonight? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah, that's my favourites. <laughs> yeah, okay. What about you, Bethany? <laughs> I don't know if I have a favourite. My favourite... Mm, I really enjoy pancakes on the rocks. Oh yeah, Bethany oh. does. Oh, I like so that. like, I don't good. best order. It's like the flat, just the plain pancakes with the whipped butter and maple syrup it's and add bacon. bacon. <laughs> That's the best order every time we go there. And like we've been there for my birthday a few years yeah. because it's like, what do you want to do? And I'm just like, can we just go get pancakes? <laughs> yeah. I love that. Simple but effective. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you met anyone famous? I've met a lot of rugby league people because mm. I used to work in rugby league. So, What'd you do there? I used to be a sideline eye for Hawksbury Radio. So I used to know Pat, not I didn't know, know Pat Hollis, but I used to work for the Hawksbury Radio when he played for the Wolves in New South Wales Cup. So back in, I'm trying to think who played. So I'm just, so there's, sorry. <laughs> we, there's not a chainsaw in the room. There's little Archie. My friend Neil Dogg. This is getting oh, louder. It, I can, it is, I can yeah, hear it. It's yeah. registering. Yeah. <laughs> This, it's, uh, this is sleep. the He's Richter snoring. scale. <laughs> the snore is coming through. I'm so sorry. It's taken me like an hour to get him to sleep. Oh, he's awake. So how, how old is Archie? He's got to be one in August. And he's a French bulldog? Yeah, he's a pedigree French bulldog. So that means he's he's above the elite. Yeah. <laughs> so he paid more money for him. He looks down on the other bulldogs? Yeah, he does. So um, does, he, does he know it too? Does yeah. he get around with attitude? Oh, yeah. Well, he walked in here this morning and pissed on the floor. <laughs> So you can't get much now. attitude than that. Just asserting his dominance over everyone. <laughs> People and animals. <laughs> I love him. Clean that up, peasant. <laughs> what's um? What's the average lifespan for a French bulldog? I have no idea. It's a bit of a downer, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way he's snoring, I don't think he's got much longer. Yeah. He can't he, breathe. He so does. Long. He does have sleep apnea. He does. He snores a lot. He like, snores with his eyes open. Yeah, he sleeps with his eyes open, snores all the time. Oh, um, that's pretty He's got about two minutes worth of gas yeah. in him, like run around for two minutes and he's Because he done. can't breathe. Yeah, no. <laughs> he gets really hot real quick. So if you ever see like a French Because he bull- can't breathe. Oh, no. He's my dog. <laughs> but if you ever see him lay down on their stomach, so they usually like lay down like yeah. chicken legs. and Frog then boy. Yeah. It's because they're trying to cool themselves uh, down. Yeah, okay. So he does that a lot. <laughs> but no, he's, he's treating himself right now. I didn't even know so what a crazy. French bulldog was until my boyfriend's like, let's get a puppy. And I was like, yeah, let's get a rock wheeler. Because <laughs> I've always wanted always a rock Always wanted a rock wheeler. I've always wanted a rock wheeler. <laughs> and I've always had big dogs. Like, yeah. Beth's known I've always had big dogs. And yeah. he's like, let's get a French bulldog. And I was like, what the is that? <laughs> But I love him. But then the word bulldog, you're like, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I would have like British bulldog. Oh, it's day. a mini bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> mini bulldog. But they've With got like ears. the sickest personalities ever. I would recommend someone a French bulldog if they want to have a laugh because the shit they come up with. What's the funniest thing he's done? Um, besides peeing everywhere where he shouldn't. Yeah. Um, he does this <laughs> thing in the morning. Oh. That is. So funny. I've got a cat. <laughs> My boyfriend's got a cat as well, and the cat is like. He's been saying it's got to die since I've been with him. It's been a year, so he's still going strong. He's about 16 years old, this cat. He actually on. looks like Barney. Oh. So for a bit of reference, he's orange. He looks like Garfield. Yeah. And um, he, what he does, he like goes and nips at his tail yeah. and like pulls it. Archie nips at the cat. Yeah, yeah. And he's like trying to play with him. And the cat's like, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> but you not? I've got videos of it. But he, the cat does a massive swipe. And he still doesn't learn the idiot. <laughs> so there's that. And zoomsies. I don't know if you know what zoomsies is. Zoomies. So that's when like they get really hyped up and they just start doing sprints. Oh, yeah. He does that. figure eights around his house. <laughs> that's that's the a CrossFit thing. Best thing to watch ever. But yeah, exactly. He's pretty funny. <laughs> you start running in circles. Just run in circles. And, and then you just, just, just run to your cabris. There's a few French, French bulldogs here. There's um, Mia. 
Yeah, Bray- Ruben. Brayden's one. Yeah, guy's inherited dog. Yeah, that's oh, that came one. with the house. Ruben. Ruben. Yeah. I haven't met Ruben yet. But he is a chunky him. boy. But he's Ruben. Beardy. He's huge. He's, yeah. he's I love like, him. Like, like he's huge so as in, uh, overweight or huge as in like cuddly. Mm. I like that. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. very friendly. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Like Is Girl. Yes. Is Girl's the OG gym dog, but she's an alpha. <laughs> Ruben yeah. sits there he's and he's like, alpha. I can't move, but he's accepted it. <laughs> when, <laughs> when we first started, I remember doing a workout outside and every time we'd run past him, he'd neck himself. Yeah. And we're like, are you going to learn? <laughs> <laughs> but every time, just boo, boo. <laughs> I actually did that about three times this morning. Yeah. Didn't learn. Yeah, he didn't like me at all when I, lo- when I tied yeah. him up. No. He hated With me. Who? Archie or yeah, yeah Archie. I got Kim Archie. to um, tie him up while I cleaned up his wonderful pee. He was, fu- yeah. he was fucking filthy with me. <laughs> and he just death stared me afterwards. Because he is the like, alpha. I was like, <laughs> he's the elite. <laughs> Imagine a Rottweiler. <laughs> my sister's oh, got no. a Rottweiler. If I had my way, the Rottweiler would be trained. Yeah. He is not trained well. He always, yeah. He's nah. spoiled. He is spoiled. My mm. sister has a Rotty and he's. But they're he's the best big, dogs. He's like this big. Goofball, if you didn't mm. know him, like, because when you scary walk, to look you, at, real yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you look, you walk up to their gate and they've got like the it's like a square, it's got the handle bit where you hit, you put your hand in and mm. unlock it. Mm-hmm. If you didn't know him and you walked up and you saw the face, nope, you'd, you'd go, I'm not, <laughs> not going that. But he's the dumbest thing. Get your package you to the post office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's very friendly, very playful, loves kids, very um. Like he guards the house. Like yeah. He's very protective. He's, yeah. he's an absolute dumbass. <laughs> he's so stupid, but he's the loveliest dog. But yeah, if you didn't know him, you'd look at him. You go, he's huge, mm. and he's scary. Mm. The best dog I ever had was like a. They call it a Shetland Sheepdog, but it's like a Lassie dog. Is that oh, Snoopy? Yeah. Snoopy. Snoopy. Mm, yeah. Snoopy was the best dog I ever had. I, I love like, Archie. Why the Real best? fluffy. Love Archie, but I love Snoopy. Oh, he was just so loyal. And he was just so beautiful. He was like a golden retriever in nature. Just Hope you're listening, him. Archie. Yeah. Loyal. <laughs> yeah, loyal. He's, he's turned his back. Kind. To him. Kind. He was just beautiful, like just so placid, and mm. he was um, like long story short, we actually got him when I was six because my mum had a miscarriage, mm. and my mum always wanted a boy, and she got two girls. Unlucky. Um, but my dad got him for like like therapy kind of dog, mm. and then. He was just like the a, best therapy dog. Yeah, he was just like a brother to us. We loved him so much, and you try and tie his shoes up, and he'd come through your arm. And he was mm. just he played soccer. He mm. actually mauled Boyd when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why he did it though. Uh, Boyd probably had it coming. <laughs> um, he likes Snoopy. I'll pay you for that. What about the smile that come on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know more. really off topic? I like I've known Beth since we were eight, eight, eight years old. Wow. And I've known Boyd that long time. 2002, too. we hated each other. Yeah, long story. Do Broke your eye socket. Yeah, I knew you were going to say oh, that. On. <laughs> no, let's revisit that story, please. It was an accident. It was an accident. Nothing's an accident. We played softball and I swung the bat and we were in a line oh, and yeah. someone behind her pushed her and I just hit oh, her in the face. Oh, yeah. oh yes. shit. Get oh, yeah. that into Broke your eye socket <gasps> when yeah. I was like How long did that take to heal? Ages. Still. You had a lot of yeah, hatred still, in you. Still my my right eyes. Like, we were friends at that point. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we so, didn't hate each other at that point. So when I got at to the school, after. don't get on my bands. So. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> still shits get a bit to this day. Uh, <laughs> only friends by. <laughs> out of fear. Yeah, out of fear. It's the yes. best way to rule. <laughs> Wait, why was I telling everyone why? I knew a boy got mauled or something. Yeah. Yes, he's known each other. Yeah, so like he used to like tackle people and just kind of like. With his inside claws, like just pull down, and he like got Boyd something fierce. I don't know that. The reason I was saying that is because over the years I've heard Beth and Boyd have the most pettiest fights. <laughs> <laughs> What's the pettiest thing you fall over? The Wi-Fi. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. And now every time Boyd um, borrows money from him, I make him sign a contract. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> he has to sign a contract. What are the terms? Of yeah, the I was going to say that he pays it back. Is it a time frame? Um, like, so the, lately, there's been time frames. Is there, like, there wasn't. Is, I've learned from is, my mistakes. Is, is he, That's why this contract is. Is, there, well, is he going to kill you for saying <laughs> No, um, we'll see. He already hates me, so. What's the, what's the lowest amount you've gone into a contract? Oh, any amount. Is there a well, oh, I mm, actually I haven't paid him back for something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that just reminds me, I haven't paid him back for the Costco receipt because he went to Boy, Costco. Boy, get the contract out. 
And then um, he was just like, oh, it's about $35. I'm like, no, it's $34.79. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to scare me. Best, is, there, is there a late fee? Best real, like, not petty, but, like, real, like, stern about money. Like, if you owe... Fifteen dollars and nineteen cents. You owe fifty dollars and nineteen cents. No, but it, it's not that you owe me. Like yeah. that's what I, I would give you. Yeah. Like I'd rather give you more. Like I'm very weird about money. I think it's a little bit of my OCD, like <laughs> ticking in. <laughs> Do you have OCD? Diagnosed. Yeah. Yeah. Indicated, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's that like? Um, Do you mind? Well, it, it's well, and OCD is an anxiety based yes. disorder, illness. Mm. I don't know what it is. Um. I've had it my whole life, but it got exacerbated a few years ago where it started to affect my everyday life. Mm -hmm. It's never been to that point. So I started seeing a psychologist for it, among other things. Um, And we've got it back to a point that I'm pretty normal, um, as as normal as normal is. Um, But yeah, it was... It's just, it's hard to describe because I, it's not the classic OCD that everyone sees. Yeah. I have to wash my hands four or five times because there's different categories. Mine's numbering yeah. and ordering. Very big with numbers, things in there. Everything has a place. It needs to belong in its place, um, which a lot of people go, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do that too. But it's like, it's different when it then affects your life and you can't move on mm. and you feel uncomfortable unless you fix that or mm-hmm. it's in its spot. I yeah. That. So that's the compulsion part. Yeah, I do that. Do you? Yep. Mm. I got similar. Yeah. So then it's... Um, do things like in here, does it bug you if the dumbbells <gasps> are not labelled and kettlebells are not... It, it's at a point now order. that if it's not me doing it or my equipment it doesn't bother me okay i can't put on two different plates oh, yeah, which can't john can't either. anyway okay. yeah yeah but it's very i if the other plates at the bottom of the stack i will move that whole stack and get it like yeah i do yeah. the same thing yeah i see people load different colored plates yeah. and i get triggered yeah <laughs> it yeah. makes me feel uh, it makes me feel uneven like it's it's all going to be exactly the same otherwise i get really like fidgety mm. and I just hate it I hate looking at it let alone having it on my own bar mm. Mm. Yeah. is it something that was with these what, what's the earliest memory that you can have of it in school yeah okay um so my handwriting is quite neat and that's from that um but in school I used to write everything in pencil and then go over it in pen and rub it all out so I was doing all my work twice wow because I wanted it to be neat. <clears throat> yeah, that, that was the that first... That chase for perfection? Yeah, that was the first ticker. Or, and it was all or nothing. It was like, you're going to... Because then it, in high school, it got to the point where it all became too overwhelming. Mm. And there was too much to do, so I couldn't do it the way I wanted to, so I just did none of it. Mm. So that was very interesting. And that was my mentality with dieting. So that's <laughs> mm. all or nothing. So we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, it's all connected, isn't it? Yeah. We're I think I only really saw it in Beth, sorry, when you did keto. <clears throat> I think that was the only real Obsessive. time that I saw yeah. the OCD in Beth in the, all that years. Because I remember, um, it was my birthday while she was doing keto. Mm. And she brought all this shit up. I remember like you bought the thick and cream yeah. for the coffee yeah. and she had the spoons and everything. And I was just like, Okay. We had pizza and I only ate the pepperoni yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 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 It was, yeah. That was the start find- of me going really bad with yeah. my OCD. How did you find keto? Um, you really loved it. good in the moment. I lost a lot of weight. Like, I dropped seven kilos in, like, the first week. A lot of it water weight, obviously. Yeah. Um, but then when I started... Because I did it for a few months. I felt okay very draining on your brain to think because we live in a world that is carb heavy yes Let, like carbs are not the enemy mm. no. but also our world is very carb heavy so like um it was and v- lots of them yeah. yeah so that was very difficult um but then like I, th- I thought it was okay but not sustainable as soon as i started eating carbs again my weight half the weight i lost was back on mm. so it's yeah I wouldn't, it, the first week you'd feel like shit. Did you stop it because it was so draining? That you just couldn't? Yeah, I think so. 
I can't remember why I stopped it. It was years ago now. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. It was my 24th birthday. I mean, 26th. So, yeah, two years ago. I didn't do it for much longer after that, I don't think. No. I can't remember. It was just... Oh, no, I went overseas. Yeah, I went overseas. I think I went to New Zealand. And then, like, I couldn't do it on holidays. Yeah. That was too much. And then I just never got back into it. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Do you all think balance is better than mm. any particular yeah. diet mm-hmm. or you, you got to have something sustainable mm-hmm. that's what yeah. i keep saying to people you got to have something that you can look at in five years and be like i can still do that mm-hmm. yes and i think that's the problem with Ke- like to me i look at keto and i'm like what about your heart like she's like can't be doing good things for your arteries all that fat and stuff it's good fats the proper yeah. keto is yeah mm. you use good fats but most people don't do that no nah. Uh, yeah, just got to find something sustainable. Yeah, because I think a lot of people try keto or ca- um, caveman mm-hmm. or paleo mm-hmm. and shakes, and it all works for interim. Interim, Point, yeah. but the sustainability mm-hmm. of okay, can I do this for five years? It's not a diet; it's a lifestyle. The only thing that <laughs> that's yeah. right, that's right. Think <laughs> yeah. shake. Yeah, <laughs> thanks shake. Um, mm-hmm. The balance is what mm-hmm. is sustainable. Mm-hmm. Well, we used to do um, back at my old gym. They did. 30 day challenges mm. and it was paleo and it was I know you said the first week you always feel like the mm. first week was kind of okay the second week was shit because that's when all the withdrawals started mm. to kick in like by the end of it you'd lost all these like centimeters mm. from like all over your body which was good but like I I got into a mindset where like I kept it going and then I got obsessive mm. and then it was like I have to keep this because I need to keep what I'm, I need to not change what I look like now. Yeah. And then you get to this obsessive stage and then it just gets worse and mm-hmm. worse and worse and then eventually you crack. <laughs> yeah. And then you stop doing it and then you go, well, what was You kind of like rebel in yourself and you're like, like yeah. I'm going to do this now because I don't care and I'm going to do this now because this is just a mm-hmm. annoyed yeah. the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. And yeah. like it was easy enough to pick back up again. But then you just get stuck in the middle of it and it just becomes really, really obsessive. Mm. And having body image problems when I was growing up, that was what triggered it. Mm. So it was like, oh, I'm at a point Put where... It back. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm at a point now where I'm comfortable, mm. but it wasn't sustainable at all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Not for, like, permanent full-time, plus I just love carbs. But not even physically sustainable, it's no. just mentally it's sustainable. Yeah, emotionally. Mm. It's a lot Everything. of shit to, talk, to think about. And then you can't day. enjoy yourself because you feel guilty. You make yourself feel that sick yeah. that you're about to ruin it. It's mm. like one one meal you think your whole... Yeah, that guilt. Yeah, you're ruining the whole day. Everything's just gone. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. Like, and that's... That, well, yeah, that's kind of where my kind of OCD came in because mm. then it came into, like, routine. Mm-hmm. And if my routine got ruined, then that was it. I just crashed. Mm. My whole mental set kind of just... Yeah went kaput mm. Mm. Was great. <coughs> so I'm going just later are right, you ready? Yeah. yeah so my question was <coughs> do you think that all of these things do you externalise any of it where you start to develop like body image stuff because you're worried what other people think yeah all the time and yeah mm. it, it was I know for me that's where a lot of my stuff has always come from yeah and it, that judgment of others and yeah um like it i get to a point and then it's like i've just i go off worrying about it so once i can get my head in that mind space i'm like oh, i'm not really worrying about my image and whatnot and then like something will happen and i'll start to try and or like i get memories and like mm. flashbacks on facebook or whatever and i look at what i used to look like and then you go oh I'd like to get back to that again. And then all those thoughts start coming back through again. And like being away from home for so long, going back there and thinking, when I left, I looked a certain way. Mm. And when I go back there and they see me the first time, I'm not gonna look like that. Mm. It's kind mm. of like that thought of, they're gonna judge me based on what I look like. Cause- Yeah, brain's so dangerous. Yeah, yeah it is. So it kind of puts you in a shit mindset. It's very hard to get out of. Mm. Yeah. But. Yeah, and then it just takes kind of over everything else. You just start to obsess it, and then you start to look up. Like, I <laughs> I go back to thinking I could try paleo again, mm. and then I look at it and go, it's 
so not worth it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Now, now I can look at that and go, I really couldn't give two shits mm. anymore. So yeah. Mm. yeah, it's not something I'm going to stress myself over anymore. So I just tell yeah. myself that it's not, it's not an issue anymore. Mm. And I couldn't really, I don't care about, you know, what other people think of me. Mm. in other ways so yeah. why would I care about my appearance oh exactly mm. so I find the environment here is quite good for that too yeah like I've always been very self-conscious and all that and like in summer I was the first time I wore shorts and like oh I, like I didn't feel comfortable coming in shorts but then no one looked at me no one reacted there was nothing and I remember thinking in my head I'm like well if anyone does I'll tell Craig and Craig will be fucking mad <laughs> <laughs> So, um, but like, yeah, no, nothing like that. So that makes me feel comfortable coming in here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think we spoke about you wearing shorts for about two weeks before you actually did it. (laughs) We did. (laughs) And then I put a tan on to wear them the first time. (laughs) (laughs) Stupid frame. People don't, you don't need to hear something from someone. You just need... And see, they may not even be just looking need, at you. You just no. need to see a look. Yeah. And there's a and, scene, they, and you just and interpret it's it. N- not directed at you, but your brain goes, yep, led, looked at my legs. All right. Yeah. Never wear shorts again. Yep. Yeah. And then but nothing. You just interpret how they've just, what, how someone's They're just internally looks. dying from the workout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you're just like, nope, that's looking at me at my legs. That's, yeah. that's yeah. the first thing that Beth said to me about coming here. Because I was like, oh, I'm not going to, like, I'm not strong anymore because I've been doing boxing and. I said, oh, I'm not going. People are going to look at me because I don't know anything. And Beth's like, honestly, everyone's too busy dying on the floor yes. to worry about what you're doing and yeah. what you're wearing. Yeah, yeah, that was the first thing Beth said. To I me. think that is the difference with these types of gyms, mm. not just CrossFit, but you know, when you you got um, high intensity classes, is everyone's just worried about. Well, it's not bodybuilding. It's, it's not, not bodybuilding, good. and it's not no. so self absorbed mm-hmm. that you know and you're not sitting around during sets looking in the mirror and mm. then judging mm. comparing mm. yourself against other mm. people or yeah, while yeah. you're sitting there whereas yeah everyone's just literally trying to not die yeah and that's what boyd said to me the first time i watched like because we were talking about weight and he goes the he's like well weight in the gym it's like well if you weigh heavy it means you're stronger so he was sort of like it doesn't really matter no one thinks about weight that way because like weight classes and stuff I was like oh okay Mm. (laughs) sure (laughs) yeah but based on commitment too like I look at some some like girls and guys in the gym and go you know what I'd love to look like that Mm -hmm. but I don't have the patience or the commitment to all the time (laughs) to, to, to do the training and do all the nutrition and all that stuff I'm like they look like they they look the way they look, either some it's natural, mm-hmm. but because of the effort and the time and yeah. everything they put into exactly. it, I'm like, I could look like what that, they but prioritize. I'm, I'm not going to do what they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to get there. So I'm not bothered. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. on them. Yeah. You've got to be just happy in what you're doing mm-hmm. and just be it, mm-hmm. like every day is what it is. Mm-hmm. And yeah. like, as long as you're happy in what you're doing and Walking in is still further ahead than a lot of people, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many people are not going to the gym? Exactly. <clears throat> and that's where, like, our mindset is, we're not worried about... Because what the old gym mentality is, we're going to take your members off you. Mm-hmm. We're the best to so come and mm-hmm. join us because mm-hmm. they're rubbish. And mm-hmm. you start, you know, tearing other mm-hmm. places down. And I guess, like, I guess that's every business, but... Puts a sour taste in your mouth. Yeah, it does. Whereas... Build our, yourself up. Yeah, our competition's not other gyms. Our competition is the lounge, Netflix. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Everyone who's not coming to exactly. the gym. Exactly. So, like, if we can build every gym up and get the people off the lounges yeah. and, and out of in front of the TV, yeah. like, the whole industry pie is going to grow, mm-hmm. which is then every individual gym's going to grow. So, if gyms stop tearing each other down and focus more on getting people who are not active mm. at all into gyms. Rather than poaching other gym goers. Rather than poaching yeah. other gym goers. So that's, mm, that's very interesting. That's the mentality I like that. I have. Yeah. Coming out of COVID, <laughs> I was like, I need... Yeah, so like how, how four, was the motivation four. during COVID? There was isolation? none. Very well yeah. rested. There was none. <laughs> <laughs> the moment, yeah. <laughs> It sucks working out by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Really struggling. But that's what, like, 
I wouldn't need a membership if that's what I could do. Yeah, that's if right. I could naturally maintain it myself at home, why would I need a gym membership? I think I should just be doing that. Um, exactly same. right. Yeah. Yeah. I just miss like the cool way in coming in here, having a laugh with people. And it's the social yeah. I miss yeah. so much. Yes. Yeah. The social. It's the one thing. So when we reopen mm. the first couple of days, is the one thing that I really will never forget mm-hmm. is just the laughter. Mm. And the... Yeah. Just people interacting. We're back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't no workout. It mm-hmm. wasn't, any, oh, you know, yeah, back squatting or anything. Mm-hmm. It was the laughter mm-hmm. and the interaction between mm-hmm. people, yeah. Yeah. What, which is what I'll always remember. Mm-hmm. And it, like, struck me the mm-hmm. most. Yeah. Because we spent three months coming in here and it was just... Nothing. I came in here Empty. one night for physio with Pat and I just being it's so eerie without the people. Yeah. 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 It's so weird. Yeah. It's the same. The people are what make it. And, and that's why gyms exist mm-hmm. and, and why most businesses should exist is for the people that mm-hmm. make it and mm-hmm. the interactions between each other, which is that's the most powerful thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what I love most about it. I don't really care really what the workouts are. It's yeah. the people together. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm. the best thing for me. Like if I walk, like if I turn up in the car park and someone sees me, I'm fucked. Like, <laughs> I just I have to come Shit, in. Now I have to go. I have to come in, but like, and that's how it was before. I feel like if I leave the house, I'm committed. Yeah. 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 Like, Have you ever driven here and gone nut? No, there was on. one afternoon. Oh, oh, I, <laughs> I was so I, filthy at that. There was one so, afternoon so where I got here. I warmed up and then left. Wow. <laughs> and she, like this was like when I first started. Oh my Beth god! Still, like, the yeah. only I'd just done I a bunch of strength. Yeah, it was it like was, a Wednesday or something. I'd done the no, weightlifting class. Thursday back yeah. when Josh was. Yeah. And then there was the what afterwards, and yeah. I was like, yeah, I was telling Jess, I'm like, I'm not feeling it, like from the get go. And then I warmed up, and I think I did a one burpee warm up. Yeah, <laughs> it was a huge <laughs> burpee, and it, it was huge. That was one done. burpee warm up. Well, there was burpees in the yeah. warm up, and I think I did one, and then I started putting my shit away. And John's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm leaving." He's like, "No, you're not." And I'm, I'm like, leaving. And he's just like, "No, you're not." And I'm like, "Yeah, I am." And then I fucking left. <laughs> And I just <laughs> snapchatted me after. Is it still one of the hardest workouts you've yeah, done? Yeah. It was way what, up do you remember there. what it was? Oh, it was like. It was horrendous. Heaps of burpees. Yeah, I don't remember. It was ages. Anything ago. with heaps of burpees, I'm like. Oh, it was yeah. running or something. It was very cardio based. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first time I went for a 1k run. Oh no, he's dead. Um, no. It's funny what everyone, like, doesn't like. Like, some people are like, oh, I, I can hand burpees, but I'm not doing war balls. Or, oh, yeah. oh not box jumps. <laughs> so I'd rather oh, yeah. over I don't want to do box jumps. Yeah, I everyone's got their jumps. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everyone has their, no. their thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've had a, a kryptonite. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I had a moment where I was coming to the gym and I was not feeling it from, get, like I got off the train and I was mm-hmm. like, I'm not feeling this. I drove in and I turned to the corner at the end and I just drove straight back. Straight back. <laughs> Oh, straight back in I just drove straight back and went, fuck it, gone home. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was well, like, well, there was that, that Friday night open workout that I started and then stopped halfway through and went, no, we will do this again Sunday. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, and this... you know, you're all so proud of you that Sunday. Well, that 30 kilo bar felt so heavy. Mm. And I, like, I was just like, why does it feel like this? And then Sunday, I was like, this is much better. <laughs> I remember that. Because I judged you. Yeah, that Sunday. Yeah. And I liked that there was no one else And then here. I kept score. No. But, <laughs> I was so proud of you that day. I remember you just, you just had that look of... I did every burpee with you, two feet jump. Yes. But you know it what? killed me. You, in your eyes, I could see determination. Mm. We'll see. I, was that the snatch? It was the first the open fir- workout. Oh, because I did it on... Because Taylor judged me. She was like, oh, go, go, go. Like, go again. You might come back to it. I'm like, no, you can throw that out. Like, I'm not starting yeah. again. Mm. I came back because I... I think I was away that weekend. I, I came in and did it on the Monday. Mm. Like, right before the three o'clock class. Yeah. And it was disgusting. Yeah. And everyone was watching me because yeah. I was like, I was, I was like, I want to do this and get it over with before mm-hmm. people start turning up. Mm-hmm. I was halfway through it. Yeah, I think you got two minutes in, and that's when I just sat down. I was like, mm-hmm. people we're, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no thanks. Well, the opens coming back up again in October. No, no. Maybe. Unless they Probably extend not. it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm planning for October. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's the? Can do you have anything? The most inspirational thing you've seen in Adoradi? 
Oh. Everything's pretty inspirational. Or inspiration, that's what I mean. I can't think of anything at the moment. Some, um, something will... What's the funniest thing you've seen? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially the funniest thing. Brendan must get box jumping and missing the box. Oh. Or falling off the box several times. <laughs> Go, Brendan. <laughs> I'm doing this because he didn't come today. Anything the boys do. Yeah, the funniest thing I've seen is Tommy Galea in sliders, no shirt on, walking Lola through the car park. <laughs> Just on a nice stroll. <laughs> Tommy and little Lola. Oh, funny. Can't believe he touched the lead. He doesn't want to touch the dog. <laughs> I've never seen Tom move so quick when Archie came to him this morning. Yeah. So I was like, he hates dogs. Still hates dogs. He thinks they're jammy, apparently. Mm. He did say that. He is yeah. a germaphobe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Interesting. I remember I mean, in high school. Their time. practice is very clean at Greater West South. <laughs> Would Greater recommend. West yeah. Plug. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we've all been um, experienced Greater West <laughs> Health in yeah. various forms. Yeah. Many, many times. Yeah. 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 Still attending. <laughs> but yes. in all seriousness, it's been great um, partnering with them and having them um, with us. Mm. Is they it's very are handy. Quality people and quality mm-hmm. service, and I actually like I, I first met Tommy, and he was working at Woolworths <laughs> at Nightfield while studying. Wow! So to watch where he went from there mm-hmm. to what he has now and yeah. what they what they yeah. are all growing is mm-hmm. just that. From the rap bag in high school, he's done really well for himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super proud of him, and he's dating. Beth and I's childhood friend, <laughs> who's also legend, but mm. <laughs> no, he's done. S- that come out of the blue too. No, it's a real, yeah, it's really weird when two weird of your words come together. You're but like, they seem what? to work so well. Yeah, yeah. Like if you before they got together, if you had said, "Oh, Tommy and Katie," I'd be like, <laughs> but now it's like, yeah, yeah, right. They fit. I just, I just love that they Tom- complement each other. I just, yeah. I just love that Tommy has a checklist. He has a checklist. He has a checklist for her, for Katie. As in, like, what yeah, she said it, to me. No, he said he's got it in his podcast. He says, oh, I think she, she meets everything on the checklist. <laughs> I had the I was, privilege oh, of getting the bus rich. home with them the first night they got together. Yeah, oh. it was a Christmas party, there wasn't wasn't much it? talking. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. What's on for the weekend? Family visits. Yeah. So yeah, you're driving awesome. out to Bathurst? Yep. Wow. Again. And drive back tomorrow? Uh, yes. Okay. How long does it take to get up there? Two hours? A couple of hours. Mm. Nah, so I was, yeah. Mm. Well, I used to drive it every every week or every second week to come mm. see Jamie here. So after a while it just became <coughs> a habit and it wasn't that bad. And then when I moved here, it became less Such of a habit. A, and I was like, oh, mm. God. Like now, my sister lives in Bay, and it's four hours from here. Yeah. And I'm just like, why? Mm. Mm. It's not a bad drive. It's better than driving to like Queensland, but I'm just like, mm. it's just four hours. I could mm. do something else. On yeah. the, like on the way there it's slow but on the way back it's like I kind of zone out mm-hmm. and I blink and I'm already back here and I go I don't remember half mm-hmm. that trip yeah. <laughs> what are you but, doing for the weekend Beth? Um, I'm going up to Cessnock today so yeah. that's two hours away to yeah. see my partner Yeah. Um, so I do that almost every weekend <laughs> every weekend of yeah but I say every weekend um, so I usually do you go find out, a good leaving Sydney it's like a mini holiday for yeah. me, which is nice yeah Get away from all the drama, the fam, everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I usually go out Friday night after work, so I get there about 8 o'clock just after 8. Yeah. And then I usually come back to work Monday morning from there. Yeah, okay. So, I'm missing a night last night. <laughs> Withdrawals? No. <laughs> it's been a while since I've come to the gym on a Saturday, so it's been nice. Yeah. Um, so today was our... First time back doing partner work. Partner work, I loved yeah, it. yeah, I fun. did. Yeah, that's when I complained to John about it on Thursday. I was like, I just really miss the partner ward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's one of the main things I like about Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you get to tee up with someone and you just can go. And as, you only do it as hard or as yeah, yeah, as you yeah. Want. that's right. Yeah. And so today it's was not going the first to sugar step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually we'll get back to because mm. we want okay open and see how it goes and then. So no one's sharing equipment. Mm-hmm. Yep. So then today's a first step back into, mm-hmm. okay, getting back, to normal. getting back to, you know, two people per lane. So we, mm-hmm. can, we can end up back at 30 people mm-hmm. with two people per lane mm-hmm. and yeah. sharing equipment. Mm-hmm. So that's where we're building back towards. But you've got to do like, probably, tiny. like, you know, with work, just step by step. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Be like, take the step and wait. Yes. And then yeah. it's like, okay, nothing's happened. Another step, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See if anything comes of it. Yeah. <laughs> and it is like, what is, do you like the change in terms of the lanes and the booking? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. You got I your own like room my now. Space. I like my space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. space. Yes. Yeah, I like space. <clears throat> I like people don't come into my bubble and still and might. And, no, and there's no thinking like, or where are you going with that? Like, it's like, no. Yeah. 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 You dead your box. You have a dedicated... <laughs> I'm in my box. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely... So, it all... So, it started to... So, one, COVID. Mm-hmm. We need to track who's coming and mm-hmm. going each mm-hmm. day in case there is a um, an outbreak. Mm-hmm. here. We can provide that information. But council said we're not allowed to use outside any, at all anymore. Like, we Like, can, even after COVID? Even mm-hmm. after COVID. Can we oh. run? We can so we can run and farmers carry, but we can't block off the car park and have equipment sitting out there Even in the, in yeah. the car spaces. Our spots. Yeah, because yep. they they called us because we were going to run the classes outside mm. when they said, okay, you can now Boot have camp ten. Outside. Yeah, and body work started running them on the Saturday, and then we were going to have them on the su- on the Monday. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we had a little trouble with my body app, so we couldn't start on the Monday. Mm. But there was complaints about them training in the car park on the Saturday and the Monday morning. Who so then, do you know? I do know. I'll mm. tell you off air. Mm. <laughs> um, so then, council rang Richard and said, "Because there's that many gyms in here, that other gyms aren't going to complain about the yeah. other gyms." Mm. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> Good luck there. No, she narrowed it down. <laughs> so they said, under no circumstances can you operate your business outside of the business. the business building so it's a car park for a reason and and so we all know, just wear car outfits and run around yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. which that you can drive eight kilometers the fastest <laughs> yeah exactly. which then led on okay we have to manage the space mm-hmm. inside now mm-hmm. we can't just have that everything luxury. everywhere and yeah. so it's it's like being able, John and Shay, being able to coach has been a lot more, y- y- your attention's a lot more yeah. focused on the people in the mm-hmm. class rather mm-hmm. than having just stuff everywhere. Yeah. Saturdays were getting very chaotic oh, before shit. COVID. Yeah. And it it's was, actually, yeah. yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, I'll, you could barely move. Yeah. It was not very safe. Mm. <laughs> it was fun, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Saturdays had a kind of vibe about it. Yeah. yeah. Massive vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, it's like fifty people in here. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be able to get back to thirty, mm. which is that's, that's huge. Two that's per enough. lane. Mm. Yeah. Um. So there's two, another two cells coming, which are going to attach to the wall where the whiteboards are. Yep. So there'll be rigs on both sides of the room. Wow. So we ordered them last week, so they should come by it's the end of six July. Months, say six months time. With <laughs> the weirdly way to open. Well, this is um, Alpha Fits are uh, all made here mm. and oh, cool. it's built here, so we don't have to rely on getting that from Support. China. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. yeah, so the email said by the end of July. So Fabulous. hopefully, yeah, so it'll be good. So that we four lanes on this side of the room won't have to go to the other side mm. of the room for the rig, yeah. and we'll have it lower as well. Mm-hmm. So um, that'll be good. There's another two assault bikes coming, another rower. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Thing, you can think does anyone else hate the bike as much as I do everyone yeah. does I, I, like I swear to god like I, I don't think there's anything worse than the bike there's do nothing you know, worse in CrossFit I actually <laughs> like the bike better than the roller and the skier no. See, so I, I a lot actually, of the boys like the bike better and a lot of us girls like the rower better. Not I, to stereotype anyone no. but I've like, seen that trend a little yeah. bit yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like the skier mm. newbies always go to the rower yeah and then, they then you just never move. And then they, <laughs> meet, <laughs> and they meet the bike and like, no. They do the bike once and it's like, why? <laughs> so we'll end up having, and we've got five more boxes coming. So there'll be, every lane will have a piece of cardio equipment. Wow. A, a box. Um, yeah, so, and then a rig on that on that side of the wall. That's so, fabulous. Yeah, so it'll be good. good. That'll be good. And How? we'll have... Sorry, how yeah. much did you get from the support your local box? So two thousand dollars. Wow, that's cool. so good. Yeah, which was amazing. Like there was there was a donation of four hundred dollars, mm. which is fabulous. Oh. It just shows how much we care about this place. It was and how much we want it to be here when we come back. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so that money is what 
has gone into yeah, buying that equipment. That's why I yeah. asked. <laughs> I yeah. was like, yeah, yeah, that's where it's getting invested into, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, um, yeah, so selling the powerlifting equipment because mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not going to run any more strength comps here. Mm-hmm. So we're going to focus on CrossFit and weightlifting. Mm-hmm. So that was uh, four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for the wow. powerlifting equipment. Wow. Which then on top of that, the two thousand mm-hmm. dollars which everyone was so generous in donating and then there was um there's a government grant mm. which is new south wales government grant of three thousand wow, dollars nice. so that money That's has bought yeah. has bought four bikes a rower and the two cells How exciting. yeah which is great so then that equipment then services the whole membership yeah. and no sharing and, no nothing yeah yeah that's yeah. awesome yeah so um, you know, if we have to live with this no sharing forever, forever, mm-hmm. or a, you know another year or eighteen mm-hmm. months, at least we yeah. can provide. You don't everyone. miss out as much as I'd like to miss out on the bike, but mm-hmm. I mean, you, 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 you come more in. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more yeah. roller coming, so that'll make six. Yeah. Compared Eight. to how many bikes? <laughs> we'll, we'll, Two we'll more. We'll actually, have ten bikes. <laughs> That's I think that's a bit uneven. That's shit. <laughs> that's shit. That's shit. That's so just, just not... getting a rower or less. Oh, that's gold. Gold. And it has to be nice to the new people who come. Um, what do you think of the gap between classes? Awesome. Yeah. I, I don't mind it. Yeah. There's just it's like been, a bit less chaos. It's yeah. le- it, it actually gives John and Shay um, time to breathe. Either go <laughs> to the toilet. They don't need to breathe. Yeah. Yeah, they don't need to breathe. They do. yeah, they're they're fine. It's for the um, rest. They of don't it. need to be human. They're not human. They're yeah. super <laughs> human. It's been. It's that's yeah. been really good. Yeah, good. Um, in terms of being able to and having some interaction mm. between the classes mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're not. So, it's not so hectic, mm. which is. I don't. Know, I spent COVID time. It's so good to. It was a reminder of just just chill a little bit mm. and not not have to just be on. It all forced the time, yeah. a lot of people to pause, the whole time. Yeah. yeah, which was nice. I think we all needed that as a world. Yeah, but I think Just a lot of those um, luxury kind of things will phase out because I think a lot of people will realise that they can't afford them and yes. they're not really that necessary. So I think a lot of people will live with less. I well, think. a lot of works yeah. are going back with the thought that well, working from home wasn't so bad. We don't need to rent this space anymore. Yep. Yes. So yeah. So yeah. a lot of people are not going back to a job that yeah. it'll just be working from home still yeah, yeah. i couldn't do it That's could, could you work at home for the rest of the time you have worked there yeah it doesn't it doesn't really phase me as long as i've got like <clears throat> when like it was hard for me to train at home because i didn't really have anywhere where i couldn't like damage equipment mm. like mm-hmm. i couldn't do it inside and there was no way outside so i didn't really work out that much pretty much at all mm. um but I never had that like coming here after work was the downtime. It was mm-hmm. the break yeah. to get me out of work mode. Whereas mm-hmm. at home without the gym, I went from the back of the house, mm-hmm. I logged off, mm-hmm. I walked five meters <laughs> yeah. to the lounge room and then I so I was still in No separation. Yeah, I was still in the headspace. So when this I opened when mm. this opened back up, I was like, Oh, I can do this. You finish work, then you can come to the gym yeah. and then come home. Yeah. yeah. So in that sense, yes, I could if I had mm-hmm. if I had somewhere to go after. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. then I go home and I go, oh, I'm not thinking about work anymore. Mm. So like it didn't phase me. I didn't have people pestering me constantly all day. Mm. Mm. And because you're not face to face with them, you can just ignore them for a bit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until you need to talk yeah. to them. Mm-hmm. Um, so do you think the drama's over for 2020? No, no. Okay. No, the aliens are next. Yeah, what's no. next? <laughs> oh, I saw something on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I had like the rest of the year planned out with drama. I can't remember what it was. I'm ready for the alien. It's to be Oh, yeah, I'm not. I am. No. So nice. Bring it on. What <laughs> more can you give us? It'd be exciting. Mm. Are you, mm. No, it's going to be like War of the Worlds. No. How do you know they're not friendly? Or Planet of the Apes. Ha- what? <laughs> <laughs> just some extraterrestrial stuff. I'm just not down for Monkeys it. aren't extraterrestrial. <laughs> but those ones talk, so surely they yeah, must have Yeah, monkeys scare me. I'm worried about a war. Yeah. The China, way China is, yeah. seems to be just... Korea, China. Open we, bears everywhere. Yeah. And they had a cyber attack. Yeah. They did, like, we had the cyber attack. I was like, okay. 
That's a good start. Did anyone actually? This is way back of, at the start of the year. Did anyone see that sixty minute episode where there was a guy who confessed to being a Chinese spy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, think. I thought that was BS. No way. As mm. you wouldn't confess you would not to confess it because if that. you if you confessed, you're dead. Mm. Exactly. So Essentially. Yeah. So why would you go on air? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether it was just for... Anyway, that was just random China stuff. Yeah, but. no, I, mm, I do remember that. I'm, yeah. I'm just worried about that. Yeah. It's, it's been brewing for a it while. It has yeah. been brewing for a while, and... I, like, I don't want it, but I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't mm. surprise me, yeah, because America is just self-imploding. Oh. Fucked. <laughs> it is an absolute disgrace. Well, this is the thing. To be an American president, you have to have served. Donald Trump never served. He's a fuckwit. Yeah, do you have to? You have. To, I'm pretty sure you have to serve. Like what in the army? In the army, or in the navy. Whatever. Yeah. What, what, so did Obama? Obama? I don't. I I think it. Maybe that changed between Obama. I, that's I, what I got told by I someone. Don't know. Yeah, because I think they. It's not they bigger. wanted the president to serve. Mm. Uh, He's such a fuckwit. I'm doing my best. I know. I'm just trying to watch for you. I'm trying to see he's not going to pee in the floor. Can uh, I cuddle him? Come get him. He's not hot, so he's fine. Do you want to just do another little bit and we'll wrap it up? Wrap it up, yeah. Oh, sure. Whatever you think. Get on your bed. Oh my god, you're so heavy. I remember I held him at the. He was a. Puppy. The thing, he was so small, and then I was like. I'm touching his balls. <laughs> He, and a lady down the road actually wants to um, buy his sperm. Oh, really? Not mate them, but buy like, his sperm. Apparently, French bulldogs don't mate like normal dogs. Well, what the guy was saying something about Ruben's s- s- dad's sperm getting flowed in from some country or something. He's like, a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the lady's he's like, a really expensive dog. That's why he's so broad. Yeah, he must be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You should sperm. <laughs> It's a different podcast. <laughs> so, obviously, Guy's dog must be like Archie, like a pedigree dog. Yeah, apparently really, really yeah. expensive. Yeah. So, we've got papers for him that trace, like, his parents' line. and he's. I think he's quite pretty for a French bulldog. He's got a cute face. Yeah. He's not, he's not as bulldoggy. Yeah, me is a bit of a lump. <laughs> me <Mia> is so <laughs> cute. She's, she's pretty funny. Her neck rolls are my favourite. But if you can see how, like, muscly his shoulders are. Yeah. Rolling again, thank God. Yeah, okay. um, do you know a little fact about bulldogs is to cure, to find a cure for sleep apnea in humans, they are testing on bulldogs because a hundred percent of bulldogs have sleep apnea. Oh, wow. for sure, he snores like he's got the sleep worst. apnea when he's not asleep. Yes. Yeah, he's yeah. got apnea. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he snores like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. You're very buggered. So they they do all their research. <laughs> he's is, a bit puggy. He's on those. Um, and they have a shorter <laughs> lifespan. That's why I asked yeah, before. I don't know. They have a shorter lifespan because of... <laughs> 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 Sorry. What are, he just has uh, no idea what's going nah, on. None. He's used to being like pulled and kicked. And... Well, I dropped him the first time yeah, I brought him here to the gym. Like, my partner's got six nephews and nieces um, and they just give him a good go. Will he grow any bigger? No, I don't think so. He's quite muscly in the shoulders. Yeah. Compared to most dogs. Yeah. Well, for most French Frenchies I've seen. Yeah, but cool. He's not a bad looking rooster. Funny. Do you reckon you'll get another one? Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, get it now so they grow up together. Yeah, I want another one. Well, the, I was just saying, there's someone that one. wants to kind of buy his... Yeah, I do want a white one. <laughs> um, they want to buy his sperm because he's a pedigree dog. And I said, yeah, you can buy it, but I'll have a puppy in return. A white one with the black tummy. <laughs> oh, Opposites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yin and yang. <laughs> yeah, he gets a few names. Has Archie got his own Instagram page? Nah. He needs one. Do you reckon? Yeah. My partner would not be for that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he says. Yeah, no. It doesn't. You, but you, you got the dog that he wanted. So, yeah. This like, is get a Roddy. He won't let me get a big dog. Although he he's only ever had boy, no, I know he's only ever had girl dogs, and I've only ever had boy dogs. Um, so I was like, so um, I want a boy dog. <laughs> I want a boy dog. I love boy dogs. And that's he loves it now. Mm. But he's he's pretty good. He's my fur baby for now. For now. 
Well, I'm not having kids. Keep him up for a I'm not having kids anytime soon, so <laughs> this yeah. is what my parents will call a grandchild for a while. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he just pees on the floor a little bit. Uh, a lot. So do babies. Do you have any CrossFit goals for the end of the year? Oh, so many. Double unders. Double unders. unders. <laughs> Double unders. Maybe a pull up if I'm lucky. Yeah. What else is there? Oh, do Double a power under. clean so I don't bruise my collarbones. Um. <laughs> Dear collarbone. <laughs> Can Met, just look, them a toast. There's, there's um. A toaster bar would be awesome. Uh, crop tops you can get that are padded. Oh really? The Do you reckon they make them in ginormous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Possibly not. Yeah. Craig, props, do they? Props uh, not, eh? <laughs> how about those nicks? <laughs> <laughs> props not. Right. I have seen those crop tops though. Yeah. John reckons there's no harm in hitting your collarbone. It just calcifies and you'll be right. Mm, well, yeah, the the, the more you do it, the less. You want to do it. So. Yeah, that's right. That's he also yeah. said that. Self-preserve. Yeah. I got bruises for the first time in the proper spots from cleaning the other day on my shoulders. Proper spots? There's yeah. proper spots? Well, it didn't hit my chest, it was hitting my shoulders. I got I blisters on there. my thumbs for the first time ever, which was horrific. Oh, yeah, they're bad. I was like, yeah, you've always said Duh. you're getting blisters. I'm like, yeah, but you haven't ripped yet. I haven't ripped yet. <laughs> my hands are very sore, though. You, um, you want to actually yeah. catch it into your shoulders. Yeah. Not Much. onto your... Yeah. I think, yeah, well, I think half my problem is I just muscle it up. Mm. I don't actually you use my legs. On you. Yeah. How do you, I saw your stories about your snatches the other day. Mm-hmm. Happy with them? or? Yeah, I'm happy with them. Because when I left, we, Kimmy got me to do 35 kilos. We'll snatch yeah. 35. That is heavy. And Pretty it was heavy. like cinch. And then I tried to do it the other day. And my shoulder, my traps were fried, so I'll give it to uh, that. But I think everyone's traps. I haven't really. snatched since... Yeah. 10 weeks. Did John have any influence over your lifting? Because <laughs> you were like, oh, I'm not really feeling it or something like that. And then watched... John comes running across and then he's, the, and the, then the... All, all of a sudden they're good. <laughs> no, because at the start of the session, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go straight back into it. I love snatching. And I was like, when I was snatching, I was bringing it out and John saw it from the other side of the room and he's like, you're not snatching. I was just coming. <laughs> Do some high pulls and then we'll come back to it. And then he came over to check on it while we were doing it and yeah so much better yeah and it's, that's what's good about now the lanes and stuff you can see a lot better yeah. what people are doing mm. rather than having people everywhere and mm. like not to give him too many merits but john is a very good coach mm. very very i think everyone here is a good yeah coach. shay's amazing too mm. everyone's good mm. given coach for a while craig yeah <laughs> it's I, been I, a long time but... and, and that's that's been good for yeah me. Mm. because i i'm not i'm not going home at night trying to program to help mm. people do better muscle ups mm. oh, I, my passion is growing a community mm. yep. and getting people together I you know my passion's not in the doing of coaching mm. and so it's a means to an end and that's so why we've sort of got Steve and um, Kristen coming on board and, and we have John and Shay and we've you know provided them that full time is so they can um, you know you guys deserve the quality of coaching mm-hmm. and so that you do talk like that about the coaches yeah rather than you know just having um, people just, who are qualified pe- just running it yeah just running it you know just because you own the gym doesn't mean that you're a good coach and you yeah. should that you should coach um, so yeah it's it's been and I when I first started coaching it was I was explaining the whiteboard, the workout, but everyone's looking back at me and in my head was going, oh, they don't believe you, or, you know, you're just, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You know, oh, like I was worried about how everyone was judging me. Yeah, mm. stupid brain. It was stupid brain <laughs> while I was talking mm. about the workout. Yeah. It's like, there's two voices going yeah. on and it's, yeah. um, but that, 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 that doesn't happen anymore but um yeah i so i used to find coaching really anxious mm. when I, especially when i first started and um yeah so it's just a, a natural progression now that we want to have quality coaches that can just focus on coaching and then you know my strengths and and richard is about just growing the business and the community and so yeah. i think like we're only we're not even two years old yet so mm. we've still got so much to and you've never really done a membership drive in those two years. No, 
No. And look what you've got, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So, um, and that's the the focus now coming out of COVID was okay. Let's you know put the right people in the right places and and try and now get the right tools and you know. <laughs> yeah, Archie agreed with that one. Archie, yeah. Archie love that one. <laughs> So yeah, so um, well, I hope twenty the rest of twenty twenty doesn't pan out like the first half, and we can uh, onwards and upwards mm-hmm. from here. Fingers crossed. Getting <laughs> back to some type of new normal for us all. That's, That's it. Something, yeah, new normal. So should we go and enjoy the weekend? Yeah, yeah. Kim's gonna go teach us double unders. Let's go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's get. We'll get all these technical issues sorted. Yeah. And can we do this again? Yeah. Yeah. Let's... Sometime. I yes, won't bring the dog sure. this time, I don't think. He's welcome. <laughs> I think he's, he's welcome, but he's, he's craving annoying. extra number on the boys. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, he pees like a girl, so I don't know how much of a man he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sexist. <laughs> I got that. If you from pee me. sitting down, gents, that's okay. <laughs> Watch and now we're talking about health and lifestyle. I watch a lot that of is... people pee for my job. <laughs> I've seen it all. It's just... No comment. And now me. everyone's just going to look at Beth a little bit differently. Just well, there's just some things you just can't help. And you know, they have to pee. I know. If they have to pee sitting down, they pee sitting down. I just down. don't want him to pee before we leave the gym. It's more relaxing. Yeah. He's a. <laughs> you know what though? John has to bring Izzy more. Izzy's yeah. the, the OG gym dog. Izzy's babysitting Tilly. <laughs> I actually don't know if Izzy... Does Izzy like Tilly? Do we know that? So far, I think. That's good. I'm glad. Because we were worried about that. Mm. Him not getting... Izzy getting jealous. No, oh, definitely. Mm. I'd get she jealous. Come, Izzy come in like yesterday and was running around. Oh, yeah. Like she mad. was in here People. Thursday. People. Yeah. 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 So, she it's is good. You're going to have a gym dog. I'm trying to Izzy... Yeah. We all love her. We love Izzy. She's yeah. the OG. We'll just have to get some like... Want a dog hoodie? Uh, Archie, you've got a CrossFit Already dog hoodie. New Already merchandise with Izzy's face on it. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Right. So for Patrick. It. <laughs> Patrick yeah. Filios, can you just get Gym on that, dog. please? Animal lines. <laughs> All right, girls, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Greg. All right, enjoy the weekend. You, you too. too. Bye. 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 Oh, done, Baba. Woo. All right, now I'm going to put the jacket back on you. So I'm going to spend the weekend sorting editing out. Editing that. <laughs> editing that.